I'd like to begin by thanking the Association for Psychological Science for giving me the William James Award. This is a meaningful award to me, both because I'm a longstanding admirer of William James and because the Association for Psychological Science has always stood for the role of basic science in psychology. This is something I very much appreciate. My work is centered on a kind of simple question, why are we so smart? Why are we as a species so much smarter, not necessarily so much wiser, but so much smarter than other intelligent species? I believe the answer lies in our powerful learning processes, in particular in a process that we call structure mapping, whereby we can match two situations in terms of their relational structure, regardless of whether their objects also match. Once we see a common relational pattern, we can often abstract it and use it in other domains regardless of whether they match in objects or in context. This gives us the ability to develop powerful relational abstractions like central force in physics, exponential growth in mathematics, and vicious circle, which can apply equally well in social causation and in physical causation. The ability to do this kind of thing is, has been shown in our lab and others to be important in undergraduate learning of science and mathematics and other domains. It's also important in the history of science and in, in discovery. We also see structure mapping processes that work in children, where they aid in children's rapid development of conceptual structure and in their learning of language. I've had many brilliant collaborators over the years. I'd like to single out just one, Ken Forbes of Artificial Intelligence. Ken has been a major collaborator, both theoretically and empirically, for the whole length of the project and has developed the structure mapping engine and many extensions, which are process models of how structure mapping works. And this has been immeasurably valuable in tightening up the theory. Thank you.